Lamar Jackson v. Josh Allen is grand indeed. But how about this head-to-head? -head? To head. To head-to-head. -to -head. Marlon Brando, Jack Lemon, Jack Nicholson, Robert Redford, and Al Pacino. 50 years ago at the 1974 Oscars, those were your five nominees for Best Actor. And believe it or not, they only let one guy go home with the trophy. Bad news for Lamar and Allen. The NFL only gives out one Lombardi, too. Worst news, the role of the NFL's leading man has already been filled. So let's hope winning a Lombardi is not a requirement for either of those action stars to live happily ever after. You see, one way or the other in the not-too-distant future, Dan Marino Island is going to see a real uptick in population. Don't worry, Jackson and Allen are going to get gold jackets. They just may not get that one silver trophy. It's not a matter of whether they're good enough. It's like what Will Money says in the 92 Oscar winner, Unforgiven. Deserves got nothing to do with it. Fran Tarkin didn't deserve to win, but he had to play in the same era as Starback, Bradshaw and the Snake. Phil Rivers was great, but Brady and Peyton and Roethlisberger just so happened to be in the same conference. Marino is an all-timer, of course, but so were his contemporaries Elway, Montana, LT, the 46 defense, and whichever QB Joe Gibbs decided to make a postseason star that year. Ditto Jim Kelly, who had to play against Steve Young, Aikman, and Favre. It's unlike Will Money said in Unforgiven, we don't all have it coming. A Few Good Men was a great picture, but it didn't win the year-end award because Unforgiven did. And same inevitably is going to be true for some percentage of high-end QBs. Here's the critical part to remember, and I'll say it one more time. They only give out one Lombardi per year, and same will probably be true in a dozen years from now. So, do you buy that? Mahomes is going to get at least one more? Sure you do. And C.J. Stroud looks like he's got a good shot at one. Joe Burrow, Justin Herbert with his new pal Harbaugh, Rodgers and Drake May and Anthony Richardson and Justin Fields and or Mr. Unlimited, limited though the latter may be currently, who knows, maybe even the Cleveland Browns will get over the... Okay, I got a little over my skis there. But my point still stands. And those are just the AFC guys. Over in the NFC, you got Jordan Love, Hurts and Dak, Kyler and Geno, Purdy and Shanny, Stafford and McVay, Goff and the Lions, Williams and Daniels. And what about all the blue chippers in college and high school right now? Which brings me to this point. Since the start of this century, 27 QBs got to the Super Bowl in their first six seasons. But that goes way down to just 13 for guys between their seventh and 14th seasons. And if you take out Brady and Payton, it gets even more severe. Let's also keep in mind there's going to be a Joe Flacco or Brad Johnson type event every decade or so. Let's call that the Shakespeare in love factor. You really dodged a bullet there, Nomad Land. And in the nastiest plot twist of all, if Lamar does get his, it makes it that much less likely Josh Allen gets one of his own and vice versa. The math just doesn't work out for everyone to win it all. Chin up, though, multimillionaires, and remember this quote from Harry Stoner, the character Jack Lemmon played in winning that 1974 Oscars. Quarterbacks get knocked down, everyone misses. Okay, to be fair, Lemmon never saw Mahomes play, but who knows, maybe Warren Beatty will hand the trophy to the wrong guy again.